And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a parchment texture. At first let us pick a color. You don't want to have it too dark. You can obviously copy my hex code right here. But I don't use strict values. I just drag it around a little bit until I have something that is somewhat like. We can adjust it later on anyway. But for now let's pick this one. Use the bucket tool, left click on your canvas. Now click on this side to create a new layer. Let me call it plasma. Doesn't really matter what we want to fill it with, I have it white. It's on top of the background and it's active and now I go right here to filters, render, noise and there's the plasma, noise filter that's inbuilt in GIMP. Check the preview first. You can randomize the results by clicking right here on new seed. You can also just use zero and then go up with the arrows right next to it. For the turbulence, you don't want to have it too high. In most cases, you want to have it between 0 0.5 and maybe 2.0. This would be the upper limit, at least for me. Let me just pick like this. I'll choose a random seed of three and I'm fine with it. So I'll click on OK. I'm still on this layer. And now I go to color, use hue and saturation and desaturate it fully. And you can adjust the lightness. In this case, I want to bring it up, maybe up to here. I confirm. And now I change the blending mode right here to grain extract. And this is what you need. You can still play around with the opacity, but you can also play around with the color. So go back to the background layer. Make it darker, use the paint bucket tool again, click on it. You can see it's still editable. And this is the process that I use to create this parchment texture in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.